What's up my friend, welcome back to another Kajabi video and today we're starting a brand new mini series and it's going to be a four part series going over a complete look at Kajabi. So in case you're wondering about the platform itself, um, Kajabi basically positions itself as an all in one business platform and is primarily meant for you if you are trying to sell your knowledge in the form of an online course or a membership community, or if you wanna hold uh, coaching packages, things like that. So it's basically meant for the online education space. And so if you're looking at a bunch of different platforms like Teachable, Kartra, Thinkific, Kajabi, et cetera, there's probably a lot of overwhelming information out there. And so, of course, I wanna be completely transparent with you. If you know my channel, if you watch my content for any length of time, you know that I've been using Kajabi for a few years and it's my platform of choice. And so in this mini series, I just wanna share with you um, the most important aspects that I think Kajabi offers and how you can really get the most out of it. So just before we get into this video part one, let me just run you through the outline of this series. So the first part, we'll talk mainly about the products themselves, the sort of products you can create and the products that I created with Kajabi. The next part, then we'll talk about um, the actual website hosting, like how you can build your website and also the uh, landing pages, which are gonna be really, really important for a number of things. Then part three, we'll talk more about the actual selling process and offers. So how do you actually take the products you've built and actually you know, give them away to the public or sell them? And then the fourth part, we'll talk about how to put everything together. So we'll take all the previous information and I'll give you some of my personal advice on how to get the most out of this platform. So with that being said, let's jump into this video, part one here. So first of all, uh, when you log into the Kajabi dashboard, it's a pretty simple interface overall. Um, you get to take a look at your number of opt-ins over the last 30 days, uh, the amount of revenue you made in the last 30 days as well. So this is obviously really helpful just to see if your business is sort of maintaining an overall revenue level or if it's dipping or rising, it's, it's just a good indication overall. And then these are also good, the number of new customers you have in the last 30 days and the number of comments as well. Comments are especially useful if you wanna interact with your, your students, you know, like if you wanna get um, them responses to their questions, which I think is really, really important to, to help them with their learning and get them results, then that's gonna be really powerful. So I, I always try to stay updated with their comments and try to get back to them within one or two business days if possible. So with that being said, let's take a look at the products here. So basically there are a few types of products, but the ones that I've built mainly are courses and community. Because for me, the bulk of my online business is aimed at scalable revenue. Um, I, I personally like the, the passive income side of things where I can spend my time doing something once and then have something work for me for the rest of my life, basically, right? So a course really affords you that time freedom. You basically put in the effort to build out that course once, you structure it, you outline it, you record, you edit, you upload. And then when you have an automatic email funnel, which we'll talk more about in part three, um, you can have this product selling for you 24 seven without you having to do anything, which is really, really cool. So that's why I've built the majority of my business around online courses. And then here you can see I have my membership, which I am continuously involved in every single month. To be honest, every single uh, week, um, just to stay updated with my members. And uh, we can get into that a little bit as well. So just to quickly show you the process of building a product here, it's very, very simple. So you just go up here to new product, you click it. Then here you can see there are four types of products you can create. Um, the most bread and butter option is going to be your online course. Um, then you can also build a podcast, which links up to Apple Podcasts, Google, Spotify, whatever. Um, so it's a really good podcast distributor. And I've used it for a couple of years to uh, basically distribute a couple of episodes of my podcast, which has since been discontinued. Um, then you can create a community, which is really good if you want consistent interaction with your members, which I would highly recommend. And then an actual coaching program. So you can do one-on-one -on -one coaching or you can do group coaching, whatever you decide. I personally um, don't do coaching anymore. So I haven't really used Kajabi's coaching products, but from what I've seen, it's, it's quite effective. Um, but again, my bread and butter is still the online courses. So let's just select course for now. We'll click get started. And then they give you a couple of fillable fields here, right? So the title, let's just say business course 101, brief description, learn how to build a thriving online business. And then you can leave this checked as well. Use this info to generate content and additional resources. So I just leave that checked here. Cool. And then here you can start designing it right away. Um, what do you want the primary color to be? Let's say I want the primary color to be green. Um, so that applies to the buttons and the links or maybe I'll just go with something more neutral there. 
like a teal or something. Um, then the uh, accent color. So maybe I want it purple instead of blue. There we go. That doesn't actually look very good. Maybe I'll stick with blue because they're next to each other on the color wheel. So they're a little bit more appealing that way. And then uh, you can choose a thumbnail for the course as well. In this case, we'll just skip that for now. You can always add it later. And then here, you're going to want to price the course, right? So is it gonna be free? Is it gonna be paid? And then you can uh, select the type of payment as well. Is it a one-time payment? Is it multiple payments? Like you pay um, every three months, right? Or is it uh, like you pay once per month up until six months, then you complete your payment, like a payment plan? Or is it an ongoing subscription, which would be more appropriate for a membership community sort of thing? So in this case, we'll stick with one-time payment. Our price, we can just say, for example, $297. I'd like to use the sevens at the end. Or you can also let the customers pay what they want. That's also cool too. And then by default, um, you can select Stripe. So you can accept uh, cards like credit cards and debit cards through Stripe. And you can also integrate PayPal with it as well. Um, and that's it. So then we click Next. And then it's going to basically create the outline of this course for us. Um, so it kind of uses like AI a little bit and it, it puts everything together that we've just inputted into the into the uh, the system. And this is our outline, right? There's no thumbnail yet, but this is what it looks like. Very bare bones, but you can see how it works. So we have basically three lessons within this module, understanding online business, and then module two would be building your online business. And then three is marketing your online business. And of course you can expand and see what sort of lessons they've included in here. Right, and so what's really cool is you can go in to the module itself, change the title and the description, and of course, upload your own thumbnail. And you can also go into the individual lessons and upload a video if you want. And I highly recommend having video content for your courses. Um, I think it's a given nowadays, but just so you know, video is super, super effective in not only getting them the information, but they can also see you visually so they connect with you better. Um, so I always do videos for my courses. And of course you can upload audio, MP3s, waves, whatever you want and do an assessment as well. So maybe they've gone through the material, but you want to test them, then you can create a sort of quiz as well. You can also add downloadables, PDF files. Um, audio files, whatever you want. I usually do PDFs if I'm presenting slides and they want to download the slides, you can do that too. And then automations are super helpful. So maybe once they complete this lesson, they click the complete button on the dashboard, then you can do a number of things. You can subscribe them to an email sequence, grant them an offer, add a tag, send them email, etc. Lots of things you can do there. And then once you're happy with this lesson, you would then click publish and then you can save and move on from there. That's basically courses, really, really simple. And the other thing I wanna show you here um, is the community. So by the way, uh, when you build a membership and community, this is the other thing I focus on a lot in my business, right? So the number one thing is courses, making sure those are running smoothly, giving my students the A to Z system. And then number two is the actual membership and community. And again, I do this because I wanna have the consistent interaction with my students and the students that want more access to me, right? They, they want, um, they, like they might have my core method already, but they want to have more interaction with me personally. This is a scalable way I can offer that to them. So I do like a live coaching call with them once every month. I uh, go into the community, answer their questions, etc. And so I do all of that within these two products, the membership and the community. So the membership area itself is actually just a course product. And I believe Kajabi used to offer a, a specific like membership product, but I think that's been discontinued. And now basically you just create a course. And the main difference is that in a membership, you are consistently updating it each month or each week, depending on what your personal rhythm is with new content. Because if they're paying an ongoing fee to be a part of your membership, it would make sense to continuously update it with new stuff as well. So one of the core pillars of memberships is the content. And this is where I upload that. So in the course product here, I have these monthly masterclasses divided into three different buckets of topics. And within each bucket, you can see I have a number of classes that I've uploaded. Um, this one is in draft mode because that's the one I'm gonna be uploading at the beginning of next month. So I don't want them to see them yet, but on the first of the month, I will be making this public so they can watch this anytime. And here you can see in these other uh, two buckets, I have a bunch of classes here as well. So basically at the beginning of each month, I upload one new masterclass to help them along their musical journey. And then here I have a couple of other things, um, just as little bonuses for the community, like composing stages, like their success path, um, live call replays, coaching call stuff. 
member spotlight because I like to highlight members specifically who are really interactive and really supportive and encouraging in the community. I just want to recognize them. And then a couple of bonus courses here as well. So basically this is where they can find all of their content that's uploaded every single month. And if we preview the actual membership area itself, this is what it looks like. So by the way, this theme that you see here is called membership and it was sold by Kajabi experts as a third party membership theme, which they do not sell anymore, unfortunately. And I get a lot of questions about where can I get this theme? And I don't think you can anymore, but I think the closest theme that we have is uh, the momentum theme in Kajabi. So when you're building out the course products, the momentum theme still gives you the modules on the side. You can see the subheadings and stuff, and then uh, the videos play in the middle, which is um, the, sort of the way I like it. And that's it. So that's the membership area, which is a course. Then the community is a separate product itself. So let me just delete this, uh, this course test course that I just created here earlier. Um, so yeah, let's go to, go, go to the community area. Here we go. And the community <clears throat> is like we said, it's basically a community area where people can interact. So it's sort of like a streamlined Facebook group. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's, it's enclosed within the Kajabi system. Once people pay, they get instant access to it and they can access it whenever they like. So I've gotten used to the layout of this, but just to quickly run over it, you have like a custom page, which I like to use as a welcome page. So when they visit the community, they see this welcome video, they can watch it, get a good overview of how to navigate the community and all of that. And then I share a little bit of information about um, how to make the most out of it. And you know, some of the lingo that I sort of explain here. And then here on the left, they have these uh, topics. Uh, which we call circles. So they're basic topic groups where they can ask any questions they like related to that topic. And so for example, in the general discussion one, um, I, I ask a prompt every single week, like, what are you doing this week? How's it going? And then people can respond, right? And then, yeah, people can ask general questions as well, which is pretty cool. And then, yeah, introduce yourself. Like if new members are joining, I prompt them to visit this circle and introduce themselves, maybe share a piece of their music. And then we can always jump in and, and say welcome and then react to their comments and all that stuff. It's, it's a really cool way to get integrated with each other. And then here in the meetups, which is really cool, this essentially replaces Zoom altogether for me. So um, basically their members can hop on a live call with you anytime you want. And you can let them know via an email or you know the the meetups area will actually notify all the members when you're going live but they can join you there's a limit of up to 200 people um, but once they're on you can record you can share the screen you can do whatever you want you can chat um, in the messaging area all that stuff that that zoom does you can basically do here as well and i always like to schedule next month's meetup as well in advance so people can start to rsvp and get notified if they uh if they want to join us right so they can do that there as well. But these are all the past recordings of my coaching calls that I do with my members once a month. And then the final area that's really important here are the challenges. So I basically have a monthly scoring challenge. Like my, my community is all musicians and composers. So each month I give them either an image or a video that they can download and then write music to and then upload it as a response to the challenge. So we can take a look here really quickly at the month of this recording, May, 2024, they can download this image or video and then they can go through and they can explain their process, what they did and then share with us um, their response. And then of course, other people can reply and uh, share their thoughts on it as well. And then what's really cool is that this community will also select automatically a winner for that challenge each month. I'm not exactly sure what it uses to determine the winner. Maybe it's the um, amount of interaction that post gets or the amount of likes, whatever it is, but it's just a good way to get your community members engaged and continuing to stay active and improving their skills as a result. All right, and that's it. And then cool other perks, like you can create these things here um, on your admin backend, right? You can use the plus button to create those challenges, meetups, all that stuff. Um, you can DM people, which is really cool too. So if you want to message someone privately, then you can uh, find them through all the members that are available in your community and send them a private message, which is really cool. And you have notifications just like Facebook. If someone interacts with your posts, like something you wrote, um, reply to you, like all that stuff will show up here in notifications. Okay. So yeah, it's a really streamlined product. And the community I think is really, really important for getting to know your community and your people really, really well on an ongoing basis.
But that is really the products in a nutshell. So I think, again, the biggest like bread and butter thing you can do is create an online course, uh, mainly because if you are selling online education, a course gives you the ability to share your A to Z method from beginning to end with no stone unturned, right? If you're creating free content on a platform of choice, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, Instagram, um, it's, it's very difficult to explain your full method in just like a five minute video or two minutes or even just a short. Whereas a course, you don't really have that limitation. You can explain your full method from start to finish and therefore also charge a rate that you think is appropriate to get them that transformation. So that is sort of why I create my courses is to give my students that full system from A to Z. And then if they want to go further with me, I've set up my community where they can interact with me every single day, ask me questions, jump on me with coaching calls and get individualized, personalized feedback for their own music and career, which I find really fun. I do it um, again once a month and just allows me to stay in the loop with um, all my people and what they're up to. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, a quick look at the products. I hope it gives you a better idea of what's going on. And so, uh, yeah, in the next video, we'll talk more about the website and the landing pages, which is very important to setting up the complete system. But if you want to try Kajabi in the meantime, in the back end, and you want to start setting up your business, um, Kajabi usually gives you a 14 day free trial on their website. But if you use my link down below, ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi, I can get you an extended 30 day free trial. And it is an affiliate link, so it doesn't cost you anything extra, but if uh, you decide to remain a Kajabi member after your free trial, then part of your payment will support me in the process, which is greatly appreciated. Of course, there's no obligation to do so and use my link, but if you do so, you will get that extended free trial. Plus, I'll give you two bonus mini courses for free, Kajabi in 30 days, which will show you step-by-step -step how I set up my business on Kajabi and you can follow along every step of the way and content marketing for creatives, which goes through the business model I'm using to put out free content into the world and then monetize it on the back end to build my business um, every single day. So with that being said, I will see you in part two next week. Thank you very much for watching part one and I'll catch you there. See you soon.